Hey guys, today I want to talk about a deck and we will look at the deck from what it does to its financial implications. A lot of the cards have already spiked, but some of them have not. So this is the deck that relies on the expertise. You're gonna run uh, Kari and Scram's expertise. So you have eight copies of cards that can get you what you need. And then you have eight other copies of cards that you wanna combo into, which is Beck and Call breaking and entering. Uh, beck and call, breaking and entering, they're all very, very good. Beck and call, you're gonna get lots of bird tokens and draw many cards. Breaking and enter entering, you can actually get something even more interesting, which would be something like uh, Amical, Ogamog, a Grizzle brand. So you have, very, you have nine copies of things that you wanna get into play. Now you will also run four brain in a jar as one of the other, another ways to play your expertise. Uh, and it's nice. I mean, you, people have asked, where's the redundancy in this deck? If you don't have this card with that card, how are you gonna play? It's the numbers match up because you have eight expertises, you have eight fuse cards, you have nine giant creatures, and then you have the mana dorks to get you there. Now I'm gonna talk about the Kari's expertise. This one comes down really fast. You do have Spirit Guide. Spirit Guide gets you there extremely fast. This card is currently in standard. So both of the expertises, uh, Scram's expertise is two in double white. Um, yes, it does give you more stuff. And in, in the uh, white expertises, you actually get to draw cards off that if you hit Beck and Call. So you can draw seven cards which is insane, seven cards with 711 tokens. Uh, and that's pretty good, that's not bad. Anyway, the expertises are incredibly interesting as a financial, I guess like, I, I wanna put it this way, they're never going to get weaker than they are today. They will only print more cards with some type of fuse mechanic, more cards with a cascade mechanic. Cascade is one of the most powerful mechanics to the point that it's number one card, or and actually number two card, it's number one target hypergenesis is banned in modern, and it's number one enabler, uh, blood braid elf is also banned. So that's how strong it is. And now the expertises are very similar, but mm, less variance in change for card advantage. You're, you are gonna lose a card from your hand instead of random card from your deck. Now let's talk about Brain in a Jar. This is kind of the new intervention. So it costs two, pay one, put a charge counter on Brain in a Jar. Then you may cast an instant or sorcery card with converting mana cost equal to the number of charge counters on it. Um, the second ability doesn't really matter. What you're gonna do is you want you can use this to play back and call for the two in breaking entering i believe it's also for the two and it works so these are mechanics these are known mechanics in modern if you don't believe it works i can tell you this what you're currently looking at is a tier one i guess tier one and a half deck that won a grand prix trial so this is a deck if you don't believe this deck works how did it win a Grand Prix trial and why are there cards like this in the deck? So Brain in a Jar works the same way as the Expertise. So actually you have 12 pieces of redundancy there uh, in terms of playing the eight pieces of the Beck Call and Breaking and Entering. I like, I like it a ton. Brain in a Jar is definitely something that I have my eye on, but cards in Standard are cards in Standard. Now, what big baddies do you want? You want Grizzlebrand to draw cards, you want Ogamog to eliminate cards, to double vindicate. And, but the card that you wanna hit on the breaking and entering uh, is Emiko. There is, I explained this interaction with Emiko that if you hit the Emiko, it actually comes into play. So although it goes to your graveyard, it goes into play off the triggers and then it can, then you get your extra turn and then you can attack and it's pretty much over. So you're not gonna kill your opponent super duper fast. I mean, you could kill them really fast, but it will probably take two attacks from Emiko and by that time it's already over. So definitely that's the big baddie that you want. Uh, the land base is very simple. Bloodstain, Breeding, Forest, Mountain, Plains, Sacred Foundry, Stomping Ground, Temple, Verdant Catacombs, Windswept, and Wooded Foothills. 
So it tends to be a little cheaper on the land base. There's not that many enemy fetches. Uh, your sideboard protects you against uh, Ancient Grudge, Leyline, Sanctity, through their Breach as another kind of let's get Emiko into play. Chancellor of the Annex, a good, good card. It's in a ton of sideboards now and Nature Claim against the Affinity with Ancient Grudge. So you want to get out your expertise or your brain in a jar. I mean, you got to get them out as fast as possible. You are in Modern, which is a fast format. So you got four Birds of Paradise, three Noble Hierarchs, four Simeon, Simeon Spirit Guides. Wow. And then the Arbor as well as another creature land type. So it's very simple. You play your Emrakul, you play your Grizzlebrand, you play your Ogamog, and then you just attack for lethal. Uh, maybe it takes two turns, but I, but once you get there, I mean, what is your opponent going to do? There's very limited options your opponent can come back. So this is my favorite deck right now. I don't have this exact deck list. My deck list does not have four Emrakuls. It only has two, but this is a deck list that in I look at it and it's, yeah, this is a lot stronger than the deck I'm currently running, but I will probably mimic it. So leave me a comment below. Uh, definitely a fun deck. It's nice to see new decks, and this is definitely a new deck because before the expertises existed, you don't have the redundancy. I mean, you could always play Brain in a Jar and kind of do the same stuff, but it's not as good as a turn two expertise into a you know into a Fuse card into an Emical GG. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.